there's a rare NBA situation that's occurring in one of the games tonight on Tuesday. In fact, it's only happened in eight other games all season. This year only happened 15 times. Last year only 13 times the season before that. And it's occurring in the Blazers and Oklahoma City Thunder game. I'm going to let you know if it'll affect how you play this game. But more importantly, I will tell you which side to play in this game and make some money when you do so tonight on Tuesday. Hi, I'm Steve Merrill back here on Wager Talk TV, part of wagertalk.com. And the situation I'm talking to is kind of a weird scheduling dynamic. And it's ironic that it's happening again tonight because it's happened just two nights ago on Sunday. And it almost happened last night in one of the solo videos I did here on the channel. And that's a team playing an isolated home game with several road games before and after coming up on deck. And that's Oklahoma City tonight. Uh, they're coming off a three-game, actually a four-game road trip. They played the Lakers, Clippers, Utah, Minnesota. So three cities, but four different games. And then on deck, starting tomorrow, they're at San Antonio, New Orleans, and Detroit. So this is an isolated home game. One home game in between seven road games, four and three on each side. And it's funny because I mentioned the Bulls were in that spot on Sunday when I did a standalone video Yesterday for the Spurs Sixers games, I mentioned that 76ers were kind of in that spot. They had a couple home games. They had a single home game after several road games, including a double on one side. So it wasn't technically three plus on each side. But I had my colleague, friend Ralph Michaels at wagertalk.com run the database for me today on this situation. And it doesn't happen often, uh, but going back all the way to 2013, it has happened about a hundred and some times. It has been more prevalent, by the way, since the COVID rescheduling. Um, if you look back in 2019, it only happened five times and only five times in 2018. Well, since the COVID reschedule, as I mentioned, 13, 15 times the last two years, already eight times this year, in which a team has a single home game with three row games sandwiched on each side, and that's the Thunder tonight. So let's quickly look at the results that Ralph Michaels, Stat Daddy, the human p database, father of Jeff, the pin, uh, the results he got for us. Going back to 2013, those teams are 56 and 47 straight up at home. They win by about two and a half points a game. Against the spread, though, they're just 46 and 57 ATS, 53 and 46 to the over. So a little bit of an edge to the road team and a little bit of an edge to the over. Uh, the margin of spread cover and over under was only about two to three points. So once again, I don't put a lot of stock into it. Uh, Ralph did pull up some excellent subsets, though, that I thought were interesting. I'll throw those out to you here on the video so you can add it to your handicapping arsenal. Uh, once again, home favorites, about 48.5%. Home dogs, only 39%, 8 and 17, um, especially with rest. So the best fade situation, once again, is a baseball angle we use. Ralph, Jeff, and I talked about this during the baseball season, that teams coming off extended road trips at home weren't good, but they were even worse as a home dog. Well, it's the same spot. This one-game home sandwich situation is worst, the worst for home dogs. So obviously that doesn't apply to Oklahoma City Thunder tonight as they're a 13.5-point big favorite. But if you're going to play this game, I would still fade Oklahoma City. Even though the database doesn't necessarily make this a slam dunk, the road teams have done better fading these single home teams. And I think it makes sense. The logic here is that when you return home off an extended road trip, you have distractions, family getting back to life. But I think it's even worse when you got to get right back on the road after that because then you got to really cram and get all the uh, parental duties done, all the household chores done, anything else you might have to do with the family and while back in town. So I think it makes sense that these teams probably aren't fully focused. And now the Bulls were in that spot two nights ago on Sunday. They took advantage of Memphis, who was decimated with injuries. So put a little asterisk next to that. Philly was almost in the spot last night against the hapless Spurs. They won by 10, but they failed to cover as a 13.5 point favorite. And I think that's going to be the same situation tonight. I don't think Portland's necessarily going to win this game outright, but I do think Portland can stay within the double-digit line, currently 13.5. And, and there's a couple other reasons why. Not only do I think Oklahoma City will not be fully focused for this game, but they're coming off back-to-back -back wins at Utah and at Minnesota. Both were close games, minus three and plus three point spread. So two big wins. Game on deck tomorrow on the road, so there's no reason for them to run the score off. they got to rest their key players. And then on top of that, the other little factor here is that Oklahoma City has dominated Portland this year. They won the first meeting by 43 points in November, and then just two weeks ago, they won the rematch by uh, 139 to 77. And if you got to get the calculator out to do that, I don't blame you. That's, uh, what, a 62-point win. So, you know, hard to imagine Oklahoma City needs to blow them out in this game. Yes, Portland does not match up well. They're a bad team. But I just don't see the Thunder being fully focused here. It's an isolated standalone home game between three road games on each side. They have to play on the road tomorrow, coming off big road wins back-to-back, -back, and they've blown out Portland twice. If you're going to hold your nose and play an ugly dog, I think it's tonight with the Portland Trailblazers. Take a look at them at plus the 13 and a half. That game tips off at 8 o'clock Eastern Tuesday night. Now, that game didn't make my card, 
but I do have two other strong NBA best bets. There's only four other games on the card tonight, and two of them qualify as strong NBA best bets for my clients, and you might want to pay attention. I cashed again last night on Monday. We had Sacramento over Atlanta on a 25-10 and 10 all-sports run the past two weeks now, and more importantly, NBA remains number one the past year plus. You know, I was up 40 net games in 2023, and we're already up like six or seven net games here in 2024. Just adding to the NBA profits now, number one combined both the last year and a half in NBA, and it continues tonight with two strong best bets. But I also have a college basketball best bet tonight. So I made a three pack. Individually, each game is 25, or get all three for just 29. One for 25 or three for 29. That's a no brainer. If you're going to get the games tonight, the three pack is obviously the play. But an even better offer is the discount on the seven day all access. Normally it's 99. But it's just 69 this week with promo code ACCESS7. Seven days and nights of football and basketball. That means you get both the AFC and NFC Conference Championships this weekend, as well as college and pro hoops every night. Seven days and nights for just 69. But you got to have promo code ACCESS7. Or if you're kicking yourself because you missed my all sports all year special at the beginning of the year, I told you to get on board when January rolled around. We've gone 25 and 10 the last two weeks. Not too late. I'm bringing that promo back for those of you that missed it. You can still get 365 days and nights of all sports for just over $3 a day with promo code SM365. Bad news is you missed a great start here to January. The good news is you get the first three weeks of January and next year in 2025, and you know we're going to be strong then again. In fact, this start to 2024 is not a fluke. The last two years, 2022 and 2023 combined, nobody won more units on all sports sides. Football, baseball, and basketball combined at Wager Talk than I did, and we're off to a great start again in 2024. Not too late to try a seven-day package for 69 or the one-year Big Daddy for just over $3 a day. Those promo codes, once again, Access 7 or SM365 are on my page now with full details. You don't have to memorize them. And also daily free plays. I've got a bonus free college basketball play on the late card tonight for Tuesday as well. Check out those free plays also. Everything, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on Twitter at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter. Also post free plays throughout the week on Instagram, on IG. Don't forget, comment below. I read the comments. I reply back. What do you think of that angle? Home team with three road games on each side. It's a sandwich situation. More importantly, what are you doing with this Blazers-Thunder game? And what other NBA best bets do you like tonight? Hey, throw in some player props as well. Uh, we can win together here on Tuesday night on Wager Talk TV. Hit the lo- thumbs up, the like button. And don't forget, hit subscribe and hit the bell for instant alerts. So you know when these single solo play videos go up all week long for College of Pro Hoops. I'll have NFL videos for both games this weekend, AFC and NFC Championships, and also my Fade the Public video will be up this weekend as well here on Wager Talk TV. So like, subscribe, and comment below. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great college and pro basketball preview videos coming up next.